Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see a very useful modifier in Jetpack Compose that is weight. So let's understand by some example codes. So here I already created a compose uh, file that is weight modifier. So let's create a composable function. So I have created a composable function weight modifier example one. First let me write some code. After that we will see how weight modifier is useful to overcome that problem which uh, the, the code which I'm writing here so let me write a code here first I will create a box and just pass fill max size and content alignment to the center after that create a row and uh, inside that just pass modify fill max width and horizontal arrangement to space between okay and here pass two things one is text like hello and second is uh, just create a spacer which will create a circular uh, box basically rounded box something so here just pass uh, modifier just pass background basically background suppose red or shape will be circle size will be 50 dot dp just so here i write some code let me run this code and we'll see what is the output of this code so here as you can see uh, inside this row we have a text and a circular box and there is a space between um, those content so and okay the result is fine okay there is no issue with that but suppose if i increase the length of this text then we'll see what will happen okay this is what is happening actually so the content the text content is over right over lap uh, the circular box okay this is the problem uh, which we face uh, through this code okay so let me solve this problem with the weight modifier okay how we can solve this problem with the weight modifier that is a very simple thing okay you you just have to just you just have to comment this code this code and uh, pass one modifier to this text that is weight and pass one f here and when you pass one f and the problem is solved basically so what is happening here here i provide text to the weight one f weight one f means it will take the whole width until this circular box okay it will take the whole width until this circular box okay if there is not prior space it will start the text from the next line okay so this is what is happening okay here so when you click on the weight so it will take two parameter one is a uh, weight uh, that is a float value and the value will be 0 0.0 to 1 okay you can provide the value on the range from 0, 0.0 to 1 f basically okay so when you provide 1 f it will take the whole width basically whole width and uh, by default the fill value is true suppose if i uh, here if i okay so there is if i remove the some remove some content from the text it will just provide the space between okay between the two content basically but if i pass here false so this is what happened basically it fill me fill true means it will uh, it will take the whole width basically if we provide the false value it will just wrap the content basically the size will be wrap content okay not uh, fill uh, fill max width something okay just a wrap content okay so this is the use of uh, fill parameter so i hope you got the first use case how we have to use weight modifier and how this uh, can solve some problem okay let me give an another use case where you can use a uh, uh, weight modifier so uh, let me let me create a composable function uh, that is a uh, weight like, suppose you want to create two button uh, two button like button one and button two and both the button are horizontally placed okay and you want like both the button should have equal size okay like both the button should have equal size so how we can achieve this thing so with the help of weight modifier you can do uh, these type of things okay let's create a composable function box here and provide modifier fill max size and the content alignment 
to the center okay and here inside this box uh, just create a row and provide modifier dot fill max width and create two button here like button one which is uh, text button one and another button button two okay text here like uh, button two okay and one more thing you have to add here is provide modifier uh, modifier fill max uh, width here and also copy and paste to this here okay now when you run this code okay so when you run the code like we have created the two button okay button one and button two but only button one is visible okay why this is visible because i have provided both to fill max width so after button one there is a button two but it's not visible so i want button and button two will be the same same size okay it should have the same size okay so how we can do this with the help of weight modifier we can achieve this so how we uh, what we ha what we have to do just provide weight to 0.5 f and is this weight to 0.5 f and now boom guys this weight modifier solves the problem button one and button two have the you know same width basically if you want to uh, give some space between these two button you can give here you can provide a spacer spacer width and just 10 dp so there is a space between these two button okay so this is how weight modifier useful for this type of condition okay so this is the second uh, use case of this uh, weight modifier let me give another example another use case where you can use weight modifier suppose let me create another composer function free something and okay so let me write the code and after that i will explain you what is happening there so here i am writing uh, like create a column composable function and give to modifier fill max size and here provide a lazy column okay and just provide items something 50 and just pass text text uh, it and modifier to um, give some padding 10 dp something okay and after that just provide a button something okay uh, let me run this uh, code so when i run the application so you can see we have a list of 50 items in the lazy column that is fine and i also given a button get started something okay so what i want to achieve basically i want there is a lazy column 50 items that's fine but one button should be at the bottom at the bottom of this column and that should be sticky that should be sticky and lazy column content should be scrollable but the button should be sticky at the end okay so this type of conditions this type of condition can be happen in your real world example real world your real world application so how we can achieve you just have to do something nothing more than that in the lazy column just provide modifier and give weight to 1f so when you provide the weight one weight 1f here the but get started is sticky but the lazy column content is scrollable okay so if you want to give some space here you can provide some space padding like 20 dp something so when you provide 20 dp padding that is fine okay there is looking good here and whenever you whenever you get any condition whenever you get any requirement like uh, you want to uh, Pro, you want to fix your button at the end at the bottom so with the help of this code you can achieve this okay so this is the these are the uh, you know, these are some use cases uh, where you can use weight modifier in jetpack compost okay so i hope you would learn something new from this uh, uh, from this video and i also create i also write some articles uh, about android development in my medium account so here i write some of the articles about android development so if you want to read you can read and uh, don't forget to follow me on the medium link in the description okay